In a first ever exercise post independence, the Ministry of Defense, in consultation with the Indian Army, has decided to reform the Indian Army in a planned manner. These decisions were approved by Raksha Mantri Arun Jaitley after an extensive consultation with all stakeholders. The first phase of reforms involves redeployment and restructuring of approximately 57,000 posts of officers, JCOs, OR, and civilians. Major reforms concerning the following has been approved optimization of signals establishment to include radio monitoring companies core air support signal regiments air formation signal regiments composite signal regiments and merger of core operating and engineering signal regiments restructuring of repair echelons in the army to include workshops advanced base workshops and static workshops in the field army Redeployment of ordnance echelons to include vehicle depots, ordnance depots, and central ordnance depots apart from streamlining inventory control mechanisms. Better utilization of supply and transport echelons and animal transport units. Closure of military farms and army postal establishment in peace locations. Establishment in standards of recruitment of clerical staff and drivers in the army. Improving the efficiency of the National Cadet Corps. Implementation has begun with the decision of the Cabinet Committee on Security to close 39 military farms in a time-bound manner. Ministry of Defense had constituted a committee of experts under the chairmanship of Lieutenant General Dr. D.B. Shekatka, who is retired with a mandate to recommend measures for enhancing of combat capability and rebalancing defense expenditure of the armed forces with an aim to increase teeth to tail ratio. The committee of experts had submitted its report in the December 2016 which which was considered by the Ministry of Defense and 99 recommendations were sent to the armed forces for making an implementation plan. Raksha Mantri Arun Jaitley had approved 65 of these recommendations pertaining to the Indian Army implementation. These reforms will be completed in all respects by 31st December 2019. Restructuring by the Indian Army is aimed at enhancing combat capability in a manner that the officers, JCOs, OAS will be used for improving operational preparedness and the civilians will be redeployed in different wings of the armed forces for improving efficiency.